Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. Um, today is the one month mark that I have been back reselling since I got back from Germany. So I'm going to share with you my top sales, my overall sales number, and my plans for next month. So we're gonna go right into this. I'm not gonna be telling you every single sale I had on Poshmark and eBay. and. I only have one on Macari, so, <laughs> because there's a bunch of little sales, um, that only, you know, I only made like, let's see, the smallest one was like, like $6 or so, but I'm not going to discredit those sales because they do add up to help the overall number. And I will say I was blessed enough to receive a bag of donations and I was able to sell some of that stuff. And those were most of the smaller sales. They like were part of bundles and stuff like that. So if you're out there using the next door app, getting free donations, they're great bundle items. I actually didn't get it off of that, but still super happy that somebody donated to me. It was super sweet. And I was able to make a little bit of money off of it. So thanks for that. <laughs> so first we're gonna get into Poshmark. This is dates from March 25th to April 10th, which is today. So, the first thing I sold, and I'm going to put a picture right over here of the items for you. Um, the first thing was a new tag Torrid Disney romper. It was Alice in Wonderland. It was super cute. Um, I was able to sell it for $36, and after Poshmark fees, I profited $26.68. Again, I mentioned in my previous video, I am not going to tell you what I paid for the items. Um... I'm just giving you the sales totals. It's not in my benefit to tell you what I paid for the item. Sorry, it's just not. Um, next was a Harley Davidson jacket. Um, it was a extra large, I believe. It sold for $60 on best offer and I profited $48 off of it. Um, the guy who bought it was super sweet. He messaged me and was like, can you take this for it? And we kind of haggled a minute sent it out, got to him, and he left me a really sweet, nice, um, what are they, the love notes or whatever. So I was really happy that that went to a great home. I profited very well on it, so I was happy with that sale. Um, next was a Free People High Rise Flare Jeans. I sold them for $35, and I, pro or I didn't profit, I made $28 after fees. Next is another brand to kind of be on the eye for. This was the first time I've ever found it. I purchased this at the thrift store before they all closed. It was called Onzi, and they were a new attack yoga capri. I sold them for $22 and I made $17.60. Okay, the next thing was a bundle of two items. It was a pair of Lucky Brand flats and a pair of Nike Zoom Pegasus shoes. I sold the bundle for $70 and I made $56 off of that. So real happy with the bundle, especially shoes. Um, they fit in a large priority box pretty easily. So it was, I didn't have to pay any extra shipping on that. It was great. Happy with that sale. Another bundle was a bigger bundle. Um, they purchased a pair of Madewell jeans, a crossbody or two crossbody purses one of which came out of the donation bag that I mentioned previously. Um, a pair of Liverpool pull-on pants, a tie-dye huskery dress that was new with tags, and cut from the cloth jeans. And they made an offer, or I did, I'm not sure who made the offer. <laughs> there was an offer of $86 and I made $68.80 and I was really happy to get that stuff out and going to its new home. Next, I sold a Bowden duffel jacket. This was super cute. It was navy with the striped jersey knit on the hood. It sold for $32 and I made $25.60. Now, like I mentioned in my two week video, I take offers on most of these items or send offers. So these, this probably wasn't the original price I had, which totally okay with. I price a little higher knowing that I'm probably gonna have to sell it with an offer. Um, the next thing also came from the donation bag. It was a pair of Converse. They were stripes and stars in black and white. I sold them for $17 and I made $13.60. So super happy with that. 
Um, the next thing is something I bought retail arbitrage. I actually have like 10 pairs of these currently. I figured I will sell them slowly throughout the summer and I'm okay with that. To be honest, I've sold one pair and made my money back for all of them. <laughs> so I'm really happy and they're a really cute little item. They are called Babyators. They are children's aviator glasses. They have a lifetime warranty. They're just a great little sunglasses for kids. I sold them on best offer for $14 and I made $11.05. Um, next, um, a pair of Torrid heels. You might have seen in my Thread Up shoe box unboxing. I sold them quickly for $19 and I made $15.20. And then the last thing from Poshmark I'm going to share is a pair of Kate Spade Lori ankle sandals. These were super cute. I got these from the consignment store here in my town. Um, I sold them best offer for $42 and I made $33.60. So super happy with Poshmark sales these last two weeks. Um, really this month, I'm, I'm happy with it. Again, I'm hoping to double next month. So that's the plan. So now I'm gonna move on to um, my eBay sales. There's just a small handful here. I haven't been listing things on eBay. The process seems a little more complicated than I remember. Just really not a fan. Also, if you remember in the last um, What Sold video, I sold the three hair gels for $130. Well, the customer came back and opened a case asking to return them. Um, the reason was I just didn't like it is what they wrote. <laughs> so, and then later upon more investigation, they were like, you know, I've used them already. It's not the product that I have at home. And they sent me a picture of their product and it was a completely different product. So what, how I handle this and everyone's going to handle these cases different for me. I just said, I'm so sorry, you know, that this product isn't what you wanted. Unfortunately, due to the nature of the product, I cannot accept a return, especially since it's opened because, do you just wake up from that? <laughs> because um, I won't be able to resell it in the same condition. It's a discontinued hair gel with my husband. So I guess Bennett's gonna hang out with the rest of this video. That's that. I know everybody handles those differently and some people would probably give them a partial refund, but I just didn't feel right about it. So I just told them no and I haven't heard back. So hopefully that's done. I hope they can resell the hair gels. I, they'll have to mention they open them. I don't know, but um, okay, moving on. You want some water? Here you go. All right. So the first sale for eBay was a pair of Duluth Trading Women's Shorts. This style was discontinued. So I looked it up. I got the stock photos, all that, the measurements. They sold very quickly for $21 plus shipping. Um, next is another discontinued product. It is a lot of five Oral-B Since I Soft Floss. So I found these a while back and looked them up and was like, okay, I'm gonna get a few. I actually have three lots of these. So this is the first one. It sold for $48 and I offered free shipping on that. Um, next was a pair of red croc wedges, which if you don't know, crocs sell. They just do. People love their crocs. Any style. The crazier the style, the better. So <laughs> these sold for $20 free shipping. And the last one was a lot of Herbal Essence um, Set Me Up hair gel. It was a lot of three. Um, I sold for $30 plus shipping. Super happy with those sales. Again, I don't know how many more discontinued products I will source in the future. It is a lot, like the cost of good is higher. So I don't know, it just depends. <laughs> and they sit longer. And like I've mentioned, I don't like storing stuff. So I don't know if that genre is quite for me, but I might dabble in it. I don't know, we'll see. The last sale was on Macari and it was the Alba Botanical Botanica, I don't really remember. It was a Hawaiian body cream. And 
it sold for $27. So happy with that. I'm pretty sure they paid shipping on Macari. So my overall numbers were Poshmark, I did $939 in sales. eBay, I did $328.30 in sales. Macari, I just did $27 in sales. And then I sold stuff on Facebook Marketplace and I did $110 in sales on there. So my overall number for my first month of reselling in sales <laughs> was $1,404.30. Um, it's okay. Given the time right now, I'm okay with it. I'm glad I'm making sales. I'm happy. I'm, I'm literally um, shipping out packages daily. So, so happy with that. I don't say this to brag. I'm just saying I'm happy. I'm glad the work I'm putting in is like paying off. I do need to double my numbers though, no doubt, for sure. But I'm going to keep y'all updated and I hope everyone is healthy and safe and hopefully this will all be over soon. All right. Bye. Happy Easter.